Today, story is about one of the groups who had one of the biggest hits in 1977. A group that can be classified as a one-hit wonder. The floaters are the focus of today's story. And no matter what they release, they try their hardest to repeat the success that they had in the past. Now, before we get started in today's video, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to stay up to date. Now, without further ado, let's cue that intro. James Mitchell, a former member of the Detroit Emeralds, had founded a new group. He was accompanied by his brother Paul, Larry Cuttinghill, Charles Clark, and Ralph Mitchell. Together, they would make the floaters. Mitchell, he was a previous member of an already popular group. So, landing a record deal for his new group was no trouble. In 1976, the group never released a single, I Am So Glad I Took My Time which gave the group the needed attention and led them to obtaining a deal with ABC Records. I wanna do and say things, baby. I, I wouldn't... The group then would get to work right away releasing two smash singles with Float On. I want you to float, float on. And You Don't Have to Say You Love Me. Now the group's debut album, titled Floaters, was released in 1977 and had peaked at number 10 on the Billboard 200 charts and number 1 on the Billboard R&B album charts, also going number 17 on the UK charts, and going on certified platinum. After the success of the first album, James Brown, he would pay the group a visit to congratulate them on having a larger crossover pop smash single than he could ever have. The following year, the group never released their second album titled Magic, which peaked at 131 on the Billboard 200 charts and number 27 on the Billboard Top R&B Album Charts. This album will produce one hit single with I Just Want to Be With You. The group, they had been attempting to duplicate the success that they had achieved in 1977. The group's songs, if I may say so myself, was very unappreciated, but at this time, music was heavily dominated by the likes of Diana Ross, the Rolling Stones, the Izzy Brothers, the Jackson Five, and Stevie Wonder, among many, many others. The group, they would go on to record two more albums with Float Into The Future, that was released in 1979, and Get Ready For The Floaters, that was released in 1981. The group, they would never achieve the same level of fame that they once had. However, their song Float On was sampled by Full Force in 2001. Larry Cuttinghill, he was sadly passed away on January 10th, 2019 at the age of 67. And Paul Mitchell was sadly passed away on December 20th, 2021 at the age of 72. Now, as of this recording, the group is still performing around the world. 